now residents along the Medina Denton stretch launched a campaign to get six foot bridges fixed. They screamed, fix foot bridges now, and even protested against several pedestrian knockdowns. Currently, contractors are working to meet the April 2016 deadline. But along the La Paz stretch of the N1 highway, road users have abandoned foot bridges. Some even cross right under the foot bridges. In 2017, 3,300 pedestrians were knocked down nationwide. This is indeed very worrying. And we'll be linking up with our reporter, Komla Adon, who is monitoring activities along the La Paz Strait. Komla, what have you observed so far? Hello, Komla? Komla, if you can hear me, what have you observed so far? Well, we seem to have a challenge uh, with hearing from Komla there, but he's been stationed uh, at the, uh, somewhere around the La Paz N1 highway stretch for about an hour now, monitoring activities uh, specifically with regards to how residents are using or pedestrians are abandoning the footbridges there. Well, while we wait to hear from Komna, let's engage the National Road Safety Commission on this issue. May Obri Yabwai is Executive Director of the Commission and joins us on the telephone line. Thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. Many pedestrians along the La Paz uh, stretch of the N1 highway are not using the footbridges. Has this come to your attention? Thank you and good morning to your listeners. Um, yes, it has come to our attention not now, the years ago, and we've gone to the uh, communities along the stretch to try to educate them to use the safe use of the, uh, the foot bridges. Uh, there are a lot of challenges uh, to it. One is the, the, the claim the foot, some of the foot bridges are, uh, or they are far apart. Mm. And that means we have to walk uh, quite a distance before they climb it. Okay. And uh, they think that uh, they have not been placed appropriately. However, like you said in your introduction, you see clearly some people also using the road under the bridge. So the question is, if you claim the bridge uh, uh, is far away, why are you crossing the road under the bridge? There was also the issue about uh, the ramps. Some of the uh, bridges do not have ramps. Mm, so but the, dis uh, the disabled cannot... Music. Sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but yeah. you are with the Road Safety Commission. We know what the, con the situation is as of now. What are you doing about it? For us, our mandate is to uh, try to sensitize and then educate people to use safe crossing points, which we have been doing. The police is supposed to support us mm. in that direction. So but, and are you to getting the support? The law, pardon me. Are you getting the support? Yes, we are, but I, I think with the pedestrian... Uh, uh, activity around La Paz, I mean, it's enormous. To look at the number of people who use the La Paz area mm. every second, mm. it's so so many people. Have you also crossing. considered uh, the the possibility of an engineering defect? Have you ruled that out, or you're looking at that option as well? No, the the Ministry of Roads and Highways have plans for that area, an interchange at La Paz. Mm. In the long term, that's what they intend doing. But as of now. The, uh, I don't think they've got funding for it. Mm. We, and we therefore, are, we have to manage okay. the situation as at now. Okay. We are, we are in December 2018. Mm. Do we know what the statistics for pedestrian knockdowns this year are so far? Uh, okay. From January to October this year, the whole country, we've had 2,602 pedestrian knockdowns. In Accra alone, we have 1,040. So, it's, uh, Accra is almost taking half. Mm. of it. So this is the statistics uh, for now. Thank and comparative to the same period last year, it's gone down by 5.48%. Okay, thank you very much for sharing with us, ma'am. Uh, that was Mayo Bria Bwashi's executive director of the Road Safety Commission. My colleague, Komla Dom, has been monitoring events, uh, if I may say, at the La Paz uh, portion of the N1 highway where residents are abandoning footbridges. Hello, Komla. What have you observed so far? Venice, uh, I've observed, uh, you know, many people dangerously risking their lives running across the highway from one point to the other. Mm. So at the moment, I'm standing right on top of a footbridge a few meters away from Las Palmas, and 
from where I stand at the moment as I speak to you, Bernice, I can see uh, at least five people now run across the road while they see vehicles slow mm. down. They, they quickly look here, look there, and then run across the stretch, get into the middle of the road, pause for, say, a minute or two, mm. and then run across the, the second portion of the road. And that's actually the norm around here. Thank I've you. Been speaking to mm. some of the individuals, mm -hmm. that, uh, why they risk their lives to do the dangerous cross across the street. I mean, it's convenient because from where the vehicles drop them off and where the footbridge, the nearest footbridge is about 150 meters, they say they cannot do the distance. And so that's why they risk their lives crossing over from one side to the other. And it, it appears to be a very normal thing here. Women, mm. children, boys and girls, the mm. old and the young, everybody running across the road. Only a few people you see use the, the footbridge. Thank Spanish. you very much, Komla Atum, there, telling us what the situation is. Uh, uh, the La Paz portion of the N1 highway, uh, residents, they're crossing the roads instead of using the foot bridges. We'll bring you pictures of this in subsequent bulletins. Coming up in business, the Trade Union Congress is hopeful of finalizing negotiations on exit packages for staff of the five defunct banks. Do stay for details.